It's us. It is. Again. We're back. back Another again. week has gone past. What week is this now? It's week uh, four, three. I feel like this is week four. It's the fourth one, but I guess it's week four because we talk about the previous week stuff. Yeah. So yes, week four. Oh, week. Mm. Oh, cool. How are you, Andy? I'm um, I'm doing okay now that you, yeah, now that you've cut out all the bits of me made a fool of myself. The last half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. It's To We've... recap, sorry, <laughs> Andy thought that Australia was part of the EU. I did, yeah. And then I was worried I that I want to clarify, was... I didn't think it was part of Europe, but I did think it was part of the European Union. And it's not. Right, we move on. <laughs> yes. What have you been up to this week? Because it's been jam-packed. Oh my and days. It's been a, a bumper edition. We've had... A really good week this week, like to to um, balance out the landslide of poo that we've had. The, uh, not last week, the week before. This week has been phenomenal. Yeah. How did we start this week off? We on Saturday. We Thursday. Yeah, but what happened on Thursday? The van. Oh yeah. We went to see a van. We went to see a van. Yeah, on Thursday. Yeah. The week today. Yes, it is. A week yesterday. This is the confusing thing about having a show at the end of the week, but obviously not filming it at the correct time. Yeah. So I have to remember... Maybe we should start doing... Half of the week. Maybe we should start doing Matt and Andy in the morning live. At 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you're right. I'll never get up. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, all right. Well, it was, you know. Uh, ow. I burnt my finger. <laughs> it hurt. It's 2.30 in the morning. It's because I just boiled it. Not five minutes ago. It doesn't really matter if I am. It's green tea. It's green tea, I thought. Well, it's chamomile. It's chamomile. You don't put milk in chamomile. Tea. No, but it's not green tea. I thought green tea. I thought that was just a term for all non-milk tea, black, white, and green. No, no. No. No, you're thinking herbal. Right. Herbal tea is like non-milk tea. But then there's green tea, black tea, white tea. So these are herbal teas. Tea. Yes. Right. So anything that's like made out of flowers or fruit or you know stuff like that. Yeah. That's it, Casey. Yeah, See, Uncle Ira would be proud. I'm just saying, you know, we're learning every day. You know, this was the segment that um, I just had learning about Australia yeah and now you're learning about tea. Oh, I am this is our education um, this is our back to school slot every day is a school day never stop learning um, try not to hate school as much as you hated it when you went to school yep okay <laughs> um yeah, so, so what else have happened? We went in a bit of van, and we, that was great. Yeah, it was very good. It's a very I'm cool van. Very pleased with it. Obviously, I'm not going to, you know, can't say that in case the uh, guy at the garage is watching this, you know. <laughs> I want to get a good deal. <laughs> yeah. I think it's got some things that are, like, kind of coming up on it, that it's like, it, mm. it does, but, like, for every van of its age... Yeah, and it's kind of mileage that, that sort of you, you just like it's you it's not unusual and i mean this one doesn't need to have its guts welded back together so i guess it doesn't have leprosy that's pretty good yeah it's not dying leprosy i think can you believe that people 
people actually used to die of leprosy. Yeah. Like, how awful. Did you know the majority of the, like, human population is immune to leprosy? Now? Or No, I'm pretty sure forever. even then. I'm pretty sure forever. Wow. Unless I'm just... Unless this really is going to be our education segment and I've got to stop again and we'll go and look some things up. But I'm pretty sure it was one of those things that everyone thought was like the end of the world, but actually not many people could get it. I don't know. I'm very, I'm not, I'm very ill-informed on this. Mm. Shall we move on? Don't quote me. Yes. What did we do on Saturday? um, Then we went to Elliot's house. Uh, We played D&D with a couple of... uh, our friendos. Our friends. But, yeah, realisation, we live in a place now, and we actually have friends who live nearby. Local friends. We have local friends. Who would have thunk it? For basically the first time in our lives. Like... You had local friends when you were growing up. Kind mm. of. Like, I actually went to school quite far away from where I lived, so... So did I. Not really, to be honest with you. I mean, I mean locally in the, like, our friends now, I only the closest had, are in, like, Manchester. I only really had two friends that I could, like, walk to the house. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, yeah, we went to Elliot's house, it was his birthday, and um, he showed us his VR stuff. Oh my. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> I was literally speechless at how amazing it was. Like, I kind of thought, oh, yeah, it'll be kind of cool, and, you know, we'll have some fun. I wasn't prepared for how, just how epic it was. I could have, I could have sat in that flight simulator thing all day. Yeah. Just flying around that ruin. Oh, my goodness. It's incredible. We actually live in the future. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm so we, it was uh I can't remember what it was Star Wars called. Squadrons, yes. which has just come out. That was it. And you did a bit of like dog fighting in it, but I, I just I just stayed on the, the practice level. I was so bad at fighting. It's unbelievable. Like it I can't get over how real it feels. Yeah. You you lose especially if there's music playing. Mm. You lose all sense of where you actually are. Like if you're, obviously we were sat down for that. Yeah. Which was good because if you, as soon as you move around, you cannot judge how far you're moving or in what direction you're going or even how fast you're going. Yeah. It's yeah. so, like it's not disorienting. I, I mean, I don't get travel sick. So it wasn't, like it didn't feel odd. It, no. it just felt like I was somewhere else. There were definitely some points where, like, you look around and, it, like, if you... I found, like, if I was combining looking around out the window with, like, certain, like, manoeuvres, I'd suddenly be like, oh, steady. But I, I definitely got lost. It, like, I definitely lost my... where I was on the map mm. a lot. Mm. Um, I thought it was really interesting that it has it kind of behaved like in in Star Wars like all the ships sort of stay on the same plane do you know what I mean yeah they're all whereas in the simulator it wasn't like that like you know it was more like in real space it was more like real space it was I can't I just can't get over the the level of detail inside the cockpits yeah. Of all the ships, I literally it blew my mind. Like, and I, it it reminded me of when we went to, um, I say we when I went to um, Secret Cinema, and I remember like taking one step into the thing, and like they superheated the room, so it was like dry and hot, and there was all sand everywhere, and it was like I'm actually. On Tatooine, like yeah, yeah, and there was like Jedi wandering around, and there was like some guy got his arm cut off in the cantina, and it was just like it was really surreal getting to like be inside a place that you've seen on a film, like, and it's real, 
And I, I got that feeling again, like from that. So it was cool. it was awesome. Yeah, very very cool. I proof of that. I I just can't like you say I can't get over how real it is. Yeah, I know. And and like because I know a lot of my mates have got the game, um, but don't have VR. I can't imagine how how much less of an experience it's going to be. Mm. just on a screen because that like I don't know it just you were there it was, it was like actually being inside the thing and I yeah. I just can't I'm just I'm blown away by it I'm speechless really about the whole yeah, yeah if that if that's gonna like become the not which I, I totally I hope I imagine it will be you know it's it, eventually there'll be enough VR that it that it becomes commercially viable and it becomes cheaper and yeah, player one and you have yeah. to like wander pants and stuff yeah. like how cool would that be that'd be amazing oh amazing oh. yeah I can't can't get over that and it's to incredible. top to top it off uh, not only did we get to see Elliot we met his family yes who were all lovely there and his mum's a, a ceramic artist. Hang on, I can get the thing down. So they've got a little gallery in their house, and we had a look around at all her, oh, oh dear, Jesus. all her ceramic work, which was lovely. There we go. Um, if anybody wishes to go and look her up, Fameo Ceramics uh, at fameo.com. There we go. Ta-da! Ta-da. We didn't actually get to meet her until quite late in the evening because um, she, she was doing an exhibition. an exhibition. But yeah, very cool. Um, I thought her work was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Mum, I know you're watching this. Go and check her out. I think <laughs> you'd really like all of her stuff. To my mum, I know that you're not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, uh, so that was really cool. You... That was a good day. Oh, then I played Vampire. You had D&D? After that. Yeah. We had to leave Elliot's quite early, unfortunately. Oh, it just time disappeared. I, yeah, I don't know where. Bloody hell. When, it, I mean, we must have been there for like five, six hours. Oh, we were there most of the day, but it was just half past six and oh, we had to like, leave. I, I suddenly like, realised that I had to go and I was like, oh, crap. Um, I was a couple of minutes late, but, you know, whatever. We usually start a bit late anyway. Yeah. Um, it was just... That's it. So we went from having a really lovely day to having a really traumatic <laughs> role play session. But I love, I love that. I love, I love really like emotional role play. It's like really good. Mm. And we had, um, oh my, the it stu- was it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The, the stuff you say you get up to is just. I don't know why you don't come come in like bawling your eyes out afterwards. I've I've almost cried in the session once. Once. It wasn't that time though. <laughs> it might come up again in the next one. I don't know. Although I I did also accidentally book the next one for your birthday. I feel really bad about that. Um, Awful. I know. Awful. I, I Just can, the worst. I've been offered to, to put it off for a week. So I'll probably do that, but. I feel, I feel super bad. I really struggled to sort of get my mind around the calendar when I'm looking at it. Yeah. And I thought it was September still. So. Yeah, how are we already a week into October? I know. Or more than that. It's Mental. insane. So that was, that was Saturday. Intense role play. Yeah. Intense game play. And PFC. We also had KFC. Oh, we did have a KFC. Yeah. Yes, I wanted to get cheeky McDonald's, but mm. there was a really long queue oh, because apparently everyone and their mums is up and out in Red Hill and around and about. So, no awful food for us, just awful. slightly different awful food. Oh, I really like it. It's very good. Though. I do like it, cheeky mm. KFC, even though they didn't have any ketchup. No ketchup. And they. Yeah, all the drinks were odd. Um, yeah, Andrew got cherry Pepsi Max uh, rather than. I think they were just very 
busy and quite confused by life. They didn't seem to have... You place an order with the guy mm. or on the screen. Yeah. But there didn't seem to be a link between the two. And it, I don't know. It, it, yeah. Oh, well. But that's OK. We've I'm got not going to complain. We've got a cheeky KFC. We had fun at Elliot's. We then had fun here. You watched some Star Trek, I believe. I did. I, I'm now into season three of Deep Space Nine. Mm. Which is cool. I'd never. I've watched a little bit of it before, but I sort of watched it sporadically. And I thought it's on Netflix. I'll. I like boring stuff. I'll have a watch of it all. What I quite like about Deep Space Nine, like, I'm not really that into Star Trek. Like, it's not really my jam. I quite enjoyed the films that recently came out. I say mm-hmm. recently, like they probably come out like five, six years ago. Yeah. But I quite enjoyed those, and you know. It's nice that it's had a bit of a facelift, but like I do quite like the Deep Space Nine, where I can just come in, and it doesn't really matter that I don't know what's going on. You, you can come in <laughs> any way into the episode, yeah. and it's it's nice because it's all a lot of it is filler. You know, there's like twenty six episodes a season. You don't need that many, but it's really I really like it because it just shows the the regular humdrum of what's going on. Yeah. And you can come in halfway through an episode and within a sentence you already know the plot. You know what's going or you on. you know like the theme of the episode. No, that's I have a testament to it being really good or really shite. And I can't I, <laughs> I can't I think tell it's which. just I think that's just because that's how television used to get made and it was like yes, serialised and it was you know, they were writing it as they were going. There was probably yeah. like a mate like, you know, a a thread for the uh, plot line throughout the whole show, but it was yeah. all just a bit like the original Battlestar. That was all written as yeah. and when, and kind of made up on the fly. Mm. But there's something there's something nice about a slow paced show that you don't have to get horribly invested in, or that is like one story for a whole. You know, it's like one ten hour long film. Mm. I find that, like, TV shows with lots of episodes, though, I really struggle to continue to give crap about the the things that are happening. There's definitely been a a few that have been really... I want to watch them all, uh, just to to have been able to watch them all, but there's quite a lot that are... You could just skip them and it doesn't matter. And there are some that are yeah. quite hard to get through. I find that some some things that have like a really powerful, good concept in, at the core that are then like 200 episodes long, it's like, oh, mate, you're yeah. just milking it. Stop. It's like Battlestar like, was the perfect length. Actually, I'll be honest with you, Battlestar, if I hadn't loved it so much... It would have been too long for me. Like I, I, like I'm surprised that I could keep with it for that long. But it was very compelling. Yeah. But like Breaking Bad also surprised me as well because that's, a, for me, that's a long series, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And Better Call Saul, exactly the same. Like those are not the sort of things that I would ordinarily have gone for. But the story was so good. <laughs> um, yeah. It's one of my favourite series, TV series. I want to go into it. Two episodes, two series long. Mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Sorry, uh, went off on a tangent. That's all right. Sorry about that. Um, it's our show. We can do what we want. So that was Saturday. We got uh, two, f- two yeah. days into our Sun- week. Sunday was sort of was nice and quiet. Uh, so was Monday. Monday I did a stream with Steve. Yeah. Uh, so I was back on the Hefty Yeti Twitch stream. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember I sort of... he, he turned to me and went, Steve's asked me to be on a stream. And I was like, oh, that's nice. And then he just basically went, hi. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, I, see I asked him <laughs> I asked him on the Discord, like, what's what's going on tonight? Because I saw him schedule. And he said after we'd done it, like, oh, I was going to pack it in for the night. I'm not feeling it. 
Um, so I feel I I really enjoyed it. It was a nice chill chat and like I plugged a cup of goodness and and said you know asked him like what's yeah. the good stuff that's happened to him because I felt like he could do with some wholesomeness. And it was just a really nice evening chat, and I'm really glad we did it. And I feel like I feel like it enriched both of us, Good. which was nice. That's nice. So already this show's yeah. spreading the love. We we also we stayed home on Monday because we were expecting to pick up the van, which still hasn't happened. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. We're picking it up next Monday though, I hopefully. Think, yeah. Said that they might have it on Saturday. Yeah. But we're getting around to that. Right. So, Tuesday. What happened on Tuesday? Um, I don't think a lot happened. Tuesday. No. Tuesday, we had to go to the workshop. We did. Super duper early. Oh, my God. Because Amazon. Yes, did. Not Amazon. Um, Hermes. My Hermes. My Hermes? This, Sorry. <laughs> this package for Australia was going to cost a million pounds to send. Mm. So, we had to send it through My Hermes. But they've got, for their collection, they've got an 8am till 8pm window that oh. you've got to be at your address for. Which is fine if you're at home, but we had to, we put, Andy put the workshop address in. Oh, that was such a and it, pain. Oh. To, so I originally mucked up the address. You got the postcode it. wrong. I, I put our postcode for home in, which is, you know, only three digits different. And it was so awkward to change it. And then they booked it. You ha- you basically had to, like, contact them and get them to change it for you. And for some reason, they changed the date. No, so you you did change the date. I, I know the I changed the date, time. but I immediately changed it back. Yeah. So I don't know why it didn't go to Wednesday. I, I just think because you, cause you accidentally changed it and then... The, then we called the guy. Oh. It, it was almost like he reverted back to I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it just didn't load. That seems like a yeah. sensible thing. And by the time that he got to it, it was Tuesday, not Wednesday. Even though I changed it to Wednesday. Yeah. And it, oh, for crying out loud! I, I would never be more frustrated by mm. an internet service I'd seen ever in my life. I just went. I can't do this. I'll see you later. Yeah. I'll make tea. Um, uh, however, it got dealt with. It it's get, been collected. It the lady who came was very nice. Good. I had to stay till about half past seven. Yeah. Which meant you missed D&D. Which meant I missed D&D. And it meant I walked home in the pitch black along that horribly dark road and was terrified the whole way. But I got home. I feel really None guilty now. None of the monsters now. got me. Because I went home quite early. I went home about half four to make sure yeah. that I'd get in time for D and D, and um, I went shopping. So yeah, that's not so a bad thing. That's it needed to be done. <laughs> it was. Sorry about that. It's all right. What, what happened on Wednesday? Uh. Wednesday was quite dry. Wednesday didn't much didn't happen, which That's was nice. Yesterday. It was yesterday. Oh, we're almost full circle. Um You know, I don't remember what happened yesterday. I don't remember what happened yesterday either. Did we go to the workshop? Oh, yesterday I we can't talk about. Because Oh no we can't. No, yeah. don't say anything. No. We're not allowed. Not allowed. Um, it's a very good thing. It is exceptional, and it, you might find out one day. <laughs> maybe in like a year or two's time, but we can't talk about it today. Oh, my days. Um, and then today, or sh- should we talk about today next week? No, talk about it now. Yeah. It's happened. Yeah. Dave from the LARP Noobs came to collect his badges that he'd commissioned off of us. Yep. And we went out for lunch. We did. He took us out to the pub for the first time in... I literally can't remember. I think the, the first time, time this year. I, I can't remember the last time I went to a pub. I think the last time I went to an actual pub was when I introduced you to my Essex friends. That's the last time I can really? remember being in a pub. You know what? I think you're right. I don't think vampire counts. Was that for your birth? No, that was for your... 
Excuse me, that was for your mate's birthday. Ben? Not Ben. We went to a pub that was like half inside out, half outside. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. So, mm. the podcast, I saw. yeah, so that was absolutely lovely. It was um, delightful. Dave's done a little video he has. coming in to see us. You should check uh, it out. I'll put the link in below. We'll put it here. Here. I can't, there's like, depending on where our hands are on the screen, it could be in the middle of the screen, it could be in the top corners, or it could be at like the bottom. But I don't know where our hands are in relation to what the camera's seen. It'll be somewhere. What if I just touch everything? Or it'll be in the description. That's a lot easier for me to do. I'll touch in everything so you can put it wherever you want. There you go. Yeah, so that was a really lovely day today. It's been um, delightful. Oh, it was lovely to see him. Um, we, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really inspired by the film that um, they put out. Recently, it's sort of mental health awareness. Yes, one. Uh, 50, 50 snakes and a stick, or fifty one sticks and a snake. That's what he called it. I'll put okay. I'll put a link in. Yeah, because like he talks about his year pretty much and what it's meant, yeah. and it's um it's really really good and empowering, and I think we need to talk more about mental health and our place in the universe etc yeah. it was just really good I, I'm quite inspired so I think maybe towards the end of the month I might sponsor you mm, good idea which would be quite nice so, mm. I don't know yeah very cool yeah right oh and I had a memory come up uh, that from last year just before Halloween Oh, is that a good good I, it kind of is a good thing, yeah. It was Alex saying that me and Ed are paying because of all the <laughs> historical research he has to do <laughs> to write plot for us. <laughs> Not sorry. Mm. Yeah, very cool. So there you go, there's a couple of Yeah. This is gonna be a very long episode, I feel. So what I'm gonna do this. is I'm gonna do a musical interlude. Mm and check on the camera while you get your art book ready and we'll have some Andy's art. It's just there. Oh. It's ready to go. <laughs> yeah, this is a long one. <laughs> Maybe just do a couple or blitz through. Or we could just keep going and people will have to do this in two parts. Yeah. I mean, I'd, any of those. All of the above. Thank you. Ta da! We need a little, like, I was going to say infographic, a little, like, sh a little animation Flourish. of, like, Andy's art time. So I showed everyone their one day two, didn't I? Uh, you showed. I showed them not this one. Uh, no, you haven't chosen that one. Right, okay. So, here we go. Da, 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 da. This one is Arrow. This is day three. Um, as you can see, we have Gaspar being carried. He's been shot in the arse. And he's being carried by Manu. Um, oh, it's, do you want to come closer? No. You, they, you can't see. I think this one's my, one of my favorites. Yeah, look at that. It's very good. All right. I've said... <laughs> Very, it's very good. It's very good. And if you disagree, then you should get in a bin. Um, then I then I drew the next one, which is Comb. Look at that. It's very nice. Come a bit closer. We can see Catellus. Is, is yeah, really go a family. little bit to the that way. Yeah. Um, um, it's funny because Dennis doesn't have any hair. <laughs> Dennis has hair. Dennis he just chooses to get rid of it all. Um, the next one. Um, I think. Oh, this is your. This is the so centerfold. This one is like an extra big one because. A bit closer. There's um. There's there's like scheduled breaks in the the thing, and I thought, oh, I'll I'll get ahead and I'll draw a couple, 
And I'll do the ones in between the breaks, these sort of extra big ones. Yeah. Um, I didn't write any commentary on this one, although I feel like maybe I should have done because it. I don't know. I haven't got as many likes. I, I really, like, I really like that one with I love it. Words, but I think that's just me. I think this is great. And, um, that's, and then the most recent one, and um, closer again. Today's one. <gasps> Lovely. So there we go. Brilliant. Um, uh, yeah, you can find them all on. Um, Complimentary colours. Yeah, complimentary dot colours is my Instagram. I've got um, the next ones to do. I think the next one is day ten. Um, and that's cape. That might be mine. I can't remember. Mm. Am I my first cape? No. <laughs> um, oh, I covered in feather down. Oh, I got really manky. At least it's not like in in the bits no. of your fingers that looks like you've you've not cleaned your fingernails in three years. That was pretty bad. <laughs> so yeah, what else is there? To I think to do? I think that's it. We need to do a news segment. Oh, again, I haven't looked up any good news. That was the whole point of this. Thing. I know that was the whole point of this whole thing, but I feel like we've evolved into just. Can I say tomorrow's news? What's yeah? Yeah, this is come over. Yes. I'm gonna get some mock up kit. I'm really wanna... excited. Do you want to say that to the camera? No. No. Well, that'll be, that'll be a surprise. <laughs> it the next will be week, lovely. Then. Yeah, it'll be it'll be good. We can have some commentary about us when we can get good ends. Um, we're making mock-ups, so I a, a lot of the lead kit is very very tailored, and I need to have people here to be tailored too. So, doing some tailoring. Doing some tailoring. Yeah. It's going to be pretty good. Cool. I'll make some videos. Videos. I've lost my mug. That oh, wasn't it. It's over there. Uh, uh, it's too far away. Is that it? Yeah. Why is it over there? I'm not there? sure how it got over there. Magic. So, it's time for us to go. It is. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Congratulations if you managed to make it this far. It's a long episode. I'm very sorry. Lots of exciting things happened. Get over it. And enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Have a lovely rest of your day. Do you, do you want to say? Um, I always forget what it is. It's, um, I, I had a great day because I made it a great day. Yeah. Hooray! Don't you judge my cup! <laughs> <laughs>